Welcome to Cuber Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll explain changing slide image, particular slide settings, and slide's default settings. Changing slide image. To access particular slide property panel, you can click on current slide image on stage, open timeline, and click on desired slide thumbnail. Here, you can change image for selected slide. After clicking on Change Image, Image Library will open. Choose one of the images available in Image Library or add image by entering image URL or uploading it from your computer. Select image for this slide and click Done button. Image for the second slide is now changed. We will now change third slide image. You don't have to use image, you can just set solid color for a slide. Uncheck Use Image for Slide checkbox and choose Slide Background Color. Click Preview to check how slideshow look now. You can see that second slide image is changed and third slide doesn't display any image. Particular slide settings. In particular slide property panel, you can define properties for each slide and override defined default slide settings if needed. There are two groups of settings available through tabs. Description tab, where you can set description heading and paragraph text. Slide tab with general slide settings for particular slide. You can change duration of this slide. Use image align and offset to define image position within a slide. By default, all images are added to slides without scale. Image Transform enables you to scale image at your convenience. Use color settings to choose background color of the slide. If image is smaller than slide, slide background will show. Make this side clickable by setting desired link and link target. Set desired text for caption, which will be used alongside thumbnail. Thumbnails must be enabled, otherwise this text will have no effect. Hit Preview to check how first slide look with new settings. You can see that background color for the first slide is changed. Also note the effects of image transform changes. To learn how to set description heading and paragraph, watch our description box video tutorial. Slides default settings. To access default slides properties, go to settings and click on slides. Slide property panel is the place where you define properties for all slides. You can choose starting slide for your slideshow. General duration of slides before transition to the next slide. Notice that slide duration is effective only when autoplay is enabled. You can also randomize slide appearance order in Slideshow. Set how many times will Cuber loop through all slides. If you leave loop unchecked, Slideshow will loop to infinity. Autoplay slides. Instruct Cuber to cycle through slides automatically. Use pause and rollover feature to stop playback on rollover. Position slides container within Cuber using align and offset properties.
Change slide container size by altering size width and height values. Following settings were already covered in previous chapter. You can set default image align and offset for all slides. Default image transform values. Default slides background color. All default slides link URL and target. Start the preview to see how those settings affected slide's appearance. You can see that first slide kept its background color and transform settings because particular slide settings overwrites default slide settings. Also note that slide's order is randomized. Slide's default settings apply to all slides which don't have those settings set for a particular slide. Thank you for watching Cuber Video Tutorials.